more and more requirements from society, and the robots are applied for different areas, such as industrial robots, service robots, uh, special purpose robots, and so on. So robots are everywhere. We still need to do more, more research on the area. Then why do we really need to bring inspired robots? Because the traditional robots can never be as clever as human, can never be as flexible as human, can never be a human's good friends because they are designed very differently. It is why we need to consider another direction. Then what is the opportunity? Because today, the information science and the neuroscience get a good interaction. It inspires brain-inspired intelligence, which includes brain-inspired robots. And this is a new direction for robotics research. The first kind of robots is traditional robots. It has fixed sensors, fixed controller. It doesn't have good learning ability. And it has mechanical and electronics. And it has different supports. And the second kind of robots are self-learning robots. These kind of self-learning robots are designed for a particular task. And this kind of self-learning robots is good in learning. However, they need a plenty of data. And also, they are not designed based on human biological model. And the third kind of robots are brains by the robots. They are designed based on human biological model. They may have different skills, such as cell, tissue, organ, uh, animal and the society. For this kind of uh, brain-inspired robots, if we consider about the organ, for example, then we can consider the robot may have vision, motion, decision, some kind of this kind of model which corresponds to software. And also they may have hardware such as uh, arm, hand, leg, which correspond to hardware. The core problem of bringing spider robots may have two parts. One is integration, another part is mechanical and electrical supports. For the integration, it may include sensory and motor uh, transformation and also multi uh, perception from different uh, sources. We think that three kinds of robots can benefit from each other for different applications. First, we consider performance. We also need to consider about price and special applications. Then, what is the current situation of uh, neural robotics in human brain project in Europe? The neural robotics is one part of the whole project, and also neural robotics is one of six major platforms. In our work for the visual model of brain by the robots, we introduce the memory and association and many other parts, and the model is performance is by the current cognition performance. And also in our work in vision motion model of brain by the robots, we consider the sensory and the motor transformation and also uh, some kind of collaboration by the cerebrum and we get the better performance in, uh, the, for the system. The robot can achieve high precision and, and high speed at the same time. And also for the neuroscientists, the robot right and the robot monkey are designed. The robot monkey right is used for the neuroscientists to understand the social behavior of real right. And the robot monkey is used for the training for, uh, for the monkey. And we think that bringing by the robot has a very wide application, have uh, excellent performance. Uh, we also know that there are a lot of challenges, such as which kind of model can be adopted for the robot and how they can be uh, adopted to achieve the goal. And we think that brain science and the information science interact with each other very well. Robotics get benefit from both areas and also get very good flexibility, very good intelligence to be uh, humans' good friends. And to be more general for the many tasks is the dreams of robotics. It needs our efforts. Thank you.